staying in the United States. We are yet to see exactly what the pole bounce is for Kamala Harris coming out of the Democratic National Convention. The assumption is that you get a bounce. Why and why wouldn't you? Four days of fawning and sucky coverage all over the media. But clearly, there is a problem that is now starting to develop for Kamala Harris, and much of the media doesn't want to talk about it. Well, I'm about to. You see, Kamala Harris is a fake. You know that because of what she allegedly stands for. Literally, there is a story tonight in the United States that the lady who previously had called the border wall reprehensible, unconstitutional, now claims she's going to build the wall. Seriously? If you're stupid enough to fall for this, well, good luck to you. I've got a bridge to sell you. For everyone else, they see this for the fakery that it is. Four years ago, Donald Trump, worst thing of all time, uh, 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 kids in cages, all of this business. Four years later, you want to pretend you're going to do all the same things? Please. We all know that she's never going to do any of that stuff whatsoever. Little cosmetic here and there, but what garbage. But we also know she's terrible when she doesn't have a script. In fact, the script she is so loyal to that she uses the same words every time, no matter where she is. It really is good to be back in Wisconsin. <laughs> it is so good to be back in Michigan. Listen, let me tell you, I am clear. The path to the White House runs right through this state. And listen, I am clear. The path to the White House runs right through this state. Tim has an incredible record as governor of the great state of Minnesota. And as you just heard, he has an incredible record as governor of the great state of Minnesota. And to his former high school football players, he was coach. And to his former high school football players, he was coach. I took on perpetrators of all kinds. I took on perpetrators of all kinds and had a summer job at McDonald's. I had a summer job at McDonald's. Oh, blah, 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 blah. But another perfect example about how the media, who are desperate to cover everything... I mean, they are literally cheering on a person who doesn't want to talk to them. That's how out of their mind these people are. That's how in the tank they are. Because, you see, Kamala Harris has this little trick. When she flies around in the plane, she won't give interviews to any of the reporters, but she goes back and apparently sits with the reporters. So they all feel like they're on the inside of a journey. They're all going to be able to write a book after she becomes president. But they won't do anything to prevent her being president by, you know asking her a question. Well, today, the media, of course, played along with the Democrats' game that it's all Donald Trump's fault that, apparently, the set-in-stone deals and rules in and around a presidential debate, well, she can renegotiate them, he can't. Tonight, the status of the presidential debate is up in the air, with the two campaigns at odds over whether the candidates' microphones should be muted when the other isn't speaking. The Harris campaign wants, and that's for microphones to stay on during the debate. They want the mics to remain open, in part because some believe that it would highlight Trump's habit of interrupting. This is garbage. This is garbage. The actual thing Kamala Harris's people want is for her to be able to take notes with her, to have cheat sheets, to have lines written down, to have facts and figures that she can't remember so she can look them up during the debate. Here's what the Trump campaign said about that exact thing. Enough with the games. We accepted the ABC debate under the exact same rules as the CNN debate. The Harris camp, after already agreeing to the CNN rules, asked for a seated debate with notes. She can't speak off the top of her head with any confidence. So they want you to believe it's completely OK for her to sit there with cheat sheets, notes, and continue to be the empty pants suit. Not Obama in a pants suit, because he could talk until we all fell asleep. But she is the empty pants suit who wants briefing notes. And by the way, if you think I'm making it up, this is what she's like if she doesn't have a script. We've been to the border. We've been to the border. You haven't been to the border. I, and I haven't been to Europe. Ukraine is a country in Europe. It exists next to another country called Russia. Russia is a bigger country. Russia is a powerful country. Russia decided to invade a smaller country called Ukraine. So basically that's wrong. Now, of course, 
the debate about the debate. Lovely distractions from uh, her actual policy or lack of policy or flip-flop policy or outright lies. The other one is the story about the story of when she will or won't sit down and do an interview. The media have completely accepted, oh, before the end of the month. Well, guess what, Dale? Time is ticking. So we learn via NBC News that there is a plan for her to have an interview. But how's this? Her running mate, Tim Waltz, will be sitting beside her. So as soon as she starts to go off to the word salad, he turns around and says, have a look at this steak, baby, and saves her from herself. This is not real life. There is no teleprompter in the Oval Office. I've been there. There is no script in the Situation Room. There is no preordained, as Megan Kelly says, emotional support governor who can help you through the process.